Welcome back to more No Man's Sky. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Well, you can see the finished product of our base. I was, I was going for a version of the Atlas. That's the best that I could do. It doesn't look much like the Atlas uh, sort of figurines or anything like that. But, uh, but it still looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm kind of proud of it. Let's go inside. I don't think I've shown you the, the top level yet. So let me go ahead and get these while we're here before I forget. I've made a whole bunch of superconductors. I am still just trying to figure out how to get more star bulbs. I, I guess not figuring out how, but setting up the how of getting more star bulbs so that we can keep up with everything else. That's the big bottleneck of our production. So if we go in here, and go up here, and then go up top, we get to the, the main hydroponics area. Right over here. We got the, the frost crystals, the solar solar vines, star bulbs, and the echinocactus. Now, the star bulbs do grow quickly, so I can probably harvest these twice a day. I mean twice a day in real life, if I was to play twice a day. The echinocactus and the solar vines take forever. The frost crystal is the fastest. But anyway, I was going to show you up here. This is the new section. You can see there's the roof. I want to pick up, when we get enough salvage data, I want to make these windows. I think that would be pretty nice. Uh, we are always needing more light, and I've only built two of these hydroponics trays. It's mostly going to be star bulbs up here, I think. At least two rows. Two rows. Maybe along here, and then along here. And then I think we'll be set up. I'd like to get three or four quantum processors going a day. That'll be a nice a nice cash flow, a nice cash inflow for us. Oh, I've also picked up the uh, the no wiring deal so that all of the wires that were all over the place before, now you can't see them. Let's go ahead and go to, let's take a look at the teleporter. We do still need to find that get cartographer. I think we're going to have to reset. I made a big mistake. Yeah, there's, it's not here at all, is it? I made a big mistake with, uh, with our freighter. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and right click. Mission restarted. Okay, if I go here, is there gonna be a... No, no, I was kind of hoping it would be at Hamat's rendezvous right here. Let's hop in the ship. Get to the galaxy map and figure it out. Let's not mess around, let's just get there. Other thing, tell me I have it. I did. I, I brought my uh, my emerald so that we can finish off the indium drive and finally go to blue stars. Let's 
go over to the starship. Indium drive. We already did the wiring looms. Let's put get this in there. And there we have it. We're good to go. Oh, here's the... I still need more space in here. Figure it out. A little, sir. Hello, friend in maps. Oh, okay, cool. Let's ask about Gek history. As the life form begins to speak, I hear a faint hum, the soft voice of Null weaving the Gek's words into something I can process. Information like that does not come for free, friend. Make me a deal. Perform work for my kin. Then we shall have something to speak about. Mission board located. Yeah, this guy. So we should do two contracts for the Gek. Probably should have cleaned this out a little bit before we started this. But let's go ahead. Gek standing right here. Locate a missing person. The client has lost their business partner. They had been celebrating the success of a recent deal when the now missing party resolved to return home via a nearby planet. They were in a state of poor judgment, as the planet in question contains little in the way of amenities and plenty in the way of hazards. The client hopes to at least recover the body of the missing person, as her fingerprints are required to access the company accounts. Oh, look at this. Look at this ship. It looks familiar. Similar-ish to ours. Same color scheme, anyway. Much wider load. Probably has a lot more storage. On my emerald. I don't know if these guys will help. I might accidentally shoot some of them. I really need to get the rockets. I, I say that. I, I don't want to kill that many people, but to end their pain quickly, rockets would be great. Let's get around this fleet. I think we picked up a little chromatic metal. Now I could buy, I saw there was a dollar sign for one of these. I could buy one of those um, ships for my fleet and increase the, uh, the number of ships I have, but I don't think freighters are going to be a big part of our playthrough, at least not here until we finish the main mission. Title Overseer. I guess we're a good friend of the Gek. Let's go around. Is it? Oh my! What 
is this guy? Okay, let's just land here. We'll have to go here before we leave. He's in there. Okay, let's go back to our ship and just land. I'm sorry for contacting you so late or early. We're going to hit that tree. I Apollo breaks off mid-sentence, their heart turning crimson. Where are you? It found me, just like it found you. I can't feel my legs. It's strange. <laughs> we are parked up against that tree. Uh, I'm still in here. Don't you understand? It won't l let me leave. It's, it's seen me. Uh, what do you see? It showed me things. The atlas showed me my soul. The number's in there. I... Oh, I hope it's not 16. Sometimes I think about my past, my future. I do what everyone in the universe does, I know, but I can't help but want to be happy. Money, doing what you're told, day after day. That's the answer, isn't it? Apollo nods, strangely, rhythmically. Eventually they speak, their words measured, stronger, as if coming from an organic throat. I've learned to love my chains. At this point, Apollo says nothing else. In the, that moment, I'm sure of it, this will be the last time I ever see them alive. I go on, trying to believe that I'm wrong. I have a mission, after all. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's land. Uh, shoot. Okay, 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 we're fine. Where's the... Let's get, let's get a little height. Where's this place? I've lost it. I've lost the gigantic base. Okay, here we are. Now, I believe this is one of those spots where you can turn in artifacts, which... Oh, maybe... Does this count as an artifact? I don't think it does. Do you have that book? I think I stored it. But we can use these and turn in our artifacts. Yeah. Celestial Archive curators seek artifacts of cultural or biological interest. Archaeologists will be compensated for all contributions. Submit a new artifact to the vault to exchange it for an archived artifact of equivalent or greater rarity. So you can turn in something like we we picked up something that was 200 years old and worth about 200,000 units. You can turn it in and get something even more valuable, even older. I don't know how that works for the archaeologists doesn't seem to make much sense so we, we gotta talk to somebody here he's right he's right over here there's a lot of weird noise now this is the merchants guild i think and i don't think he'll talk to us are you maybe friends strong spawn yeah the aliens aggressive tone and rough demeanor mark them out as a mercenary i hope they are here in some official capacity rather than undertaking a mission. 
Okay, not a merchant's guild. That's a, maybe a mercenary's guild. And you do missions for them, like we're doing Gek missions now. And you get something? I don't know. I've, I haven't really done a lot of missions. What price did my friends do something for my something? I don't know. I've located the missing person. The client will be relieved to know that they are well. I should transmit their location immediately. <laughs> I transmit the location of my target. The client may do what they will. Hopefully they're friends. Remember, the guy thought it was just going to be his friend's dead body. Over here is... I forget what this does. Welcome visitor friend to this information repository for planet Lor Loriax 12. The historical databanks indicate several sites of Gek cultural significance. Yeah. So we got a planetary chart. We'll go check it out. And then in here... I don't want to sell any of this. In here, I believe is something else. Here's the archive. Oh, I wonder. Greetings, friend. Something, something. The Gek archive is intended only for its own species. Ancient audio equipment drones in a low frequency, seemingly expecting a voice command. Let's say spawning. Archive access granted. Decrypt it. I have no idea what I'm doing. The inter interface seeps memory smells, filling the room with a delicate scent. It tries to fill my mind with visions of places that never were, never could be. The imprint of an individual Gek lingers in the interface. They must have spent years in this interface, constantly wiping their own memory in order to experience fictional lives. Their simulated fant fantasies are still available. Okay, so this is sort of like what we could have done with Artemis. Which fantasy? The family fantasy, the friendship one, or the home one? I have no idea what any of this does, if it does anything. I'm torn between family and home. Let's go with family. The pheromones project another mind into my own. I return to youth. My sibling and I play beside the spawning pool. The pool is the whole world. I am innocent to trade, to units, to the insatiable hunger. Here we will stay forever. And that's it. Let's do home. Pheromones paint images from a simulated life, a Gek fantasy. I'm the one chosen to help the traveler friend, the contracted, the significant, the overseer. There's a home in the universe just for me, and I will never want for units again. Oh, weird. Weird. All right, let's get back to the ship. Let's talk to this trader first. I don't think I need any components. Oh, here's the water thing. I want to save my nanites. Let's go ahead and use this. Little ways.
looks like another treasure spot. I think I would rather have a place that gave me more words. I'd rather know more words. I don't think we can get to that one. Three. Where's the where's the chest? Ah, right below us. Two thousand three hundred eighty-six years old. So if I could go back to the place where we just were, I could turn in this artifact and get something worth even more. It's worth a million six. I'll take it. Let's head back to the station. If I really wanted to, I think if I found one of those artifact places again, those big bases, I could just put down like, I think if you put down a save beacon or some other thing that you'll be able to see, that can mark it for you. I think that's how that works. I haven't really done it before. I haven't really honestly cared that much, but you can. Let's hand in this oh, a multi-tool expansion slot. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that was the, the prize. Let's do one more. Level four, repair a damaged item. Level four seems high. And it's for nanites. Locate and repair the damaged machinery. Alert. Navigational data received.
Let's clear this out. We don't really need that. I want to hold on to the emerald. Those can go. This is for our frigate. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to sell it. I need more salvage data. I want to get that landing pad for our base. Fifty thousand. That's chump change. Now the ship. If I wanted to increase this, I think it was something like millions. Five million. We're not there yet. We're not there. I feel like that take us back too far. But let's use this multi-tool deal. Install a slot. I mean, we, we're not even using all of our slots. Oh, and I forgot. I always forget. <laughs> I always forget about this. I want to get some good... You know what? Let's see what we can pick up here. I want to get a nice scanning one. 178. Yeah, let's get it. I'm hoping for some sort of bonus for scanning plants or animals. There we go. A little bit for some flowers. I'll do that in my off time. Are we breaking into a... Are we breaking into a facility? Let's check these outside ones first. Doesn't look like there's anything in this one. Are there... yeah? Rather take the nanites. Now I believe this is one of those I have to break in. I don't know if the one we were just at was yellow or not. Nope, it's a normal spot. Repair. Oh, I have to repair this. What do I have to do? Sodium, got it. Silicate powder. Right, let's go dig a hole in, in the ground. This is level four. 
Boot sequence auto test complete. All the faults have been repaired. The device is fully functioning and I can transmit my success to its owner. I transmit a signal over the object's diagnostic, diagnostic reporting tool, letting the owner know of my success. And that's that. Can we use it? I guess not. Let's head back. Trade frequency. Let's see what you got, buddy. Friend, so happy to see you. Yeah, yeah, I happen to have a metal plate. The life form's eyes widen with gratitude. They give me what they can spare before departing to repair their ship. Guess I should have read through the whole thing. Sorry about that. A few nanites? I'll take it. Back to this guy, maybe? Yep. Ah, you've been making me rich, friend. I know you. You're kind. The fearless adventurer. The completer of contracts. You think you are a leader. Others fight wars with weapons and fear, but power is more than strength. It is trade, incentives, information. If you have enough units, others will change the world for you without even realizing it. Uh, let's ask about the Gek history. History? Why would you care about that? Something is wrong with the Gek's voice. Ask about the first spawn. Ask about the first spawn, the Gek Empire that once decimated galaxies and enslaved the Korvax species. Ah, uh, friend, you have been talking to Viking warriors, yes? Ever they hate Gek. Ever they slander us, refusing to forgive the past. Do not worry, all is well. All is at peace. Let's repeat the question. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. Gek seek no harm, no malice. The Gek changed. Um, why? Must you know? Why do you care, friend? The Gek seems disturbed by my questions, asking why I care. It is clear they do not wish to discuss the events of their species' past. Is it shame I see in their eyes, or something else? Uh, ooh. Now, we know that when the Korvax were slaves, that's when they started praying to the Atlas, or worshipping the Atlas. If I talk about 16, he's going to freak out. I think he's probably going to freak out about the Atlas as well, but I do want to ask about that. Don't you understand? Don't you see it? It never ended. The Gek's face begins to twitch as they speak, a sickly sweet pheromone emerging into the air. Oh, is this... Is he saying, like, they're still at war? They just do it differently now? With trade and with power and money, like he was talking about? Let's resist. I try to hold my breath, but it is too late. The Gek did not change. They invaded our souls. I blink, and I am on Balaron itself, homeworld of the Gek. I stand within the center of the first spawn empire, witnessing events that occurred long ago. 
cartographer Septi stands next to me, watching what I watch, tears streaming down their face. I see enslaved Korvax move from Gek spawning pool to Gek to spawning pool. At each one, they cut into their own suits. Nanite clusters pool out, falling into the fluid of embryonic Gek. It is then that I finally understand the fall of the Gek, their conversion to the Atlas, the release of the Korvax. Oh, from the Nanite clusters? Because the, the Atlas is in the Nanite clusters, like we saw with the last Korvax guy? Oh, interesting. It was not redemption, it was revolution. Hundreds of Korvax sacrificing their immortality, mingling their Nanite clusters with the unborn Gek. Wow. The Gek did not become good. They became Korvax, at least in part. Their slaves altered Gek brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Korvax convergence delighted in the pain of the oppressor. Wow. I mean... I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Did they deserve it? I mean, they were slavers. They'll be free soon? They might be free soon if, you know, we take down the Atlas or do whatever it is that we're doing, save the universe. But let's, uh, let's throw the guilt in his face. The Gek deserve this. The Gek stares at me, vision coming to, a tent, to an end. They appear haunted. Do not judge us, traveler, that our ancestors were altered, that they did not find goodness by themselves. That has nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We just want to be happy. As I leave, I think through what I've learned. The Gek released the Korvax because their biology was altered. There was no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. It was a switch in the brain, an alteration to a genetic code. I think of the simulation Nada showed me. Their intended heaven for Artemis's soul. It was a false reality full of arbitrary and unseen rules. How's life? any different. So do you think if we got rid of the Atlas, if we could, I don't even know if we could, would the Gek just become violent again? Would the galaxy be at war? I have no idea. But I think that is going to do it for today. Look at this. 16 of 16. Speak to Null about the secrets of the past. We'll do that next time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our time together today. Take care.